mind your business. Hey y'all. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Y'all can't hear it right now, but the intro is playing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know who's here. Check in. Share it with your friends, family. It's an awesome show tonight and a huge uh, lineup. Friend. Hey, 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 how is everybody doing out in Radio World? You already know it's your boy, Jason the Architect Tucker. You are tuned in to another episode of the Mind Your Business with the Architect Show, where we just aim to put small businesses into Jacksonville and Jacksonville right back into its small businesses. We have an amazing, amazing, amazing show coming up right now. We've got some amazing people in the studio right now. Um, and I was sharing uh, the, this, this live to all of the different groups and everything, but I'm going to go ahead and stop. But if you are watching, first of all, I want to say thank you for always supporting and watching. Um, but I want to ask you to share, like, post, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. You can find us um, um, here every Tuesday. Um, we have a new time spot. If you're wondering why we're here so early, this is our first Tuesday with a new time spot. We are now here from 1 until 2, so we need to... Uh, got to save in your calendar and all that kind of good stuff uh, change it from one until two um, so right now we're going to go ahead and get started paying some bills i'm going to go ahead and uh, play um, a couple of our commercials following that we're going to hear my mind is made up by reverend milton brunson and then when we come back we are going to get started with the show so give us a couple minutes we'll be right back Gotcha. Um, what actually okay. what is being played? Okay, so next week. Can she? Yeah, can yeah, I can no, I yes, yeah. And you need a more Thank you. Y'all, I know y'all watching right now and uh we appreciate you. <laughs> but we're still getting everything together. We love you for watching and supporting and all that stuff. The camera's about to die. Oh, thank God. All this is, they can't even see me doing all of this, so that's great. Perfect. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is what I like the last time. Right. Like, it's, all all kind of, it's all good. We got geniuses in the, in the room. It's on the architect. And it's a whole song plan for these two, so we're good. Hey, got, in. Come on. If you guys are watching by way of social media or Twitch or YouTube or anything, excuse me, we want you all to check in. Let us know you're in the room. Let us know you are here so that we can address you accordingly. And now I get to go share the video. Have you guys shared it uh, to your? We shared it. Plus, we have someone, uh, our daughter. She's sharing one of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone has made up. That's it. Uh, yeah. 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 Ye
and with the uh, co-host thing. Be careful with plug the thing is plugged in right there. No, not yet. We got Oh, there you go. brother. You all right? All right. So, should we find Yes. Wave on me, wave. You are alive. You are alive, too.
Thursday? Okay. So I'm going to get him. I'm going to start with him. He's going to come in no more than maybe seven, eight minutes. And then he's going to come back around. He'll still get your back. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you for tuning back in with us. You are, if you're just catching the show, you are tuning into another episode of the Mind Your Business with the Architect Show. We have an amazing show lined up for you. Um, that was My Mind is Made Up by the Reverend Milton Johnson. I feel like going back, um, that's the music that I was raised on, and ain't nothing, going, ain't nothing wrong with using what worked back then for now. Um, we are here every Tuesday from 1 until 2. We're here from 1 until 2. That's a different time slot than we're used to being in from 2 to 3. We are now from 1 until 2 every Tuesday, and then you can catch the replay at its original time at 10 p.m. All right, so I've got a, uh, my guest co-host for the for the uh, episode again. We got the one and only <laughs> Miss Autumn Reddy in the building. Hey, Autumn, hey. what's up? We go ahead and pass this mic this way. <laughs> pass the mic. Hey, everyone, how y'all doing? Uh, how you doing, Autumn? I'm doing good. I'm just excited for the show. That's what's Get up. It going. So we got we were implementing your segment of the day today, which that's new. Um, I'm excited to get to talk about what you've got going on and what you want to talk about. If you um, don't know, this is an amazing woman with so many, so many gifts and talents and so many nuggets of knowledge that she can drop on you. So you better pay attention and you'll miss out on it. All right. So we have in the room, we, 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 we have in the room a celebrity. Y'all. We have a whole celebrity in the room. We have Mr. Antoine. A-O Radio over B. Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? What's that? Brother, so y'all, he is 2021 winner of the season eight of Oh Say Can You Sing. Yes, sir. He's been all on the news, all on the television. Shout out to WJXT, Channel 4. Hey, how long? Like, it's like a, it was like a four, six week thing. Good. Good. And how many other contestants were there? Uh, well, there were three other finalists, so there were four finalists. But we had a gang of uh, people that actually tried out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Time. So he is the best R&B uh, male singer here in all of Jacksonville. And I don't care who don't like it or who don't agree with it. I appreciate that, my bro. No, for real. Sure, right. This ain't just saying stuff just to be saying it. I'm, I'm for real. Hey, Kim, thanks for checking in with us. Akari, thanks for checking in with us. So tell us a little bit about the journey of Osei oh, Can You Sing? Man, it was a cool experience. Uh, you know, I saw the commercial on Channel 4. Uh, family member, family member, my mother-in-law, she said, you know, we should audition. And, you know, we turned in an audition, and I got a phone call back from Tom. Shout out to Tom at Channel 4. Hey! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a phone call back, and it was on from there, man. I went and auditioned uh, in front of Miss Bell with Duffy. Okay. Along with the other uh, legendary country star that came down from Tennessee. That's what's up. Uh, they, they had a lot of great words to share, a lot of love to show. And, so Ma, if you're watching, we couldn't have done it without you. We literally would probably oh, would right. not have done Should it without right. you. Shout out to Braves by Kim. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I love that lady. So uh he's been all over the television, um, and he won and then you got a chance to do the uh National yeah, anthem. I had the honor of uh, singing the national anthem before the city fireworks uh, this past Sunday night. That was amazing. All my family watched it. Hey, you know, I got a lot of phone calls from all over the region. Man. People are excited. Man. <laughs> I'm a celebrity. I'm, my son's a celebrity. My friends are celebrity. He is. If y'all don't know, he is. So, y'all, I told y'all I was gonna do this. You want to just say a little something about yourself? Sing a little something. Sing a little something. Sing a little something. Sing a little something. A little something. <laughs> I mean, since we all praise 107.9, I mean, I heard you when you said it. Uh huh, uh huh. Thank you. We're an R&B artist, and I appreciate that, my brother. You know, we don't praise 107.9, so let's give God some praise. Uh huh. Let me tell God, thank you. God, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for blessing me to be here. Thank you for blessing me to win the channel for Say, Can You Sing? That being said, I won't complain. 
they started the best part. So when I look around, hey, and I think things over, mm -hmm. all of my good days, they outweigh my bad days. Oh, I won't complain. <laughs> you heard it here, y'all. Y'all know y'all heard, y'all like what y'all heard. So before you take off, I did want to get him in and get him out. But before you take off, you've got a show coming up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody come out, celebrate with me. We call it a celebration, a night with Ayo. It is going down on August the 6th, the first Friday of August. Y'all come out. It's going to be at JC Supper and Club. Shout out to JC Supper Club yeah, and Dean. Yeah, shout out to Fat Cats. Shout yep. out to Dean Roberts. Um, so yeah, y'all make sure y'all pull up. We're gonna have a live band. Shout uh -huh. out to my band, Daniel Daniel Band Experience. Uh, we're gonna have good food, good drinks. It's gonna be an amazing experience, a five star experience. I promise you, you will not regret it. Make sure you pull up at twenty two eleven University Boulevard. The doors open at eight o'clock. And eight o'clock from eight to nine is the meet and greet photo op VIP yeah. all day long. They're gonna yeah. have uh, food and everything laid yeah. out while they last. From eight to nine, right? Yeah. And then from nine until we're going in. We're going in. Yeah. Uh, so VIP is thirty bucks. No, no, VIP is thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. And there's only thirty seats in the VIP. Right. So and they've already started firing off the shelves. So right. if, you're, if you're listening, you might want to go ahead and get your ticket now. Yeah, um, you can get your tickets on my website at AO Radio. Uh, that's A O Radio Enterprises at I mean, yeah, ARadioEnterprises.com. Thank you, Queen. Shout out to TKO. Hey! TKO, business Tip, out to the Queen. Tip, to, to the Queen. Can you put in the link so they can start buying their tickets and everything? Please. Yeah. All right. So we talked about Ose Can You Sing. We talked about your show. Yes. You gave a little some song yes. so they can expect when they get to JC Club yes, on August the 6th, yes, right? Sir. Is there anything else you want to leave with the people before you take out? Everybody, I mean everybody, go follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook at AO Radio. That's AO Radio. AO Radio. Straight like that. That's like that. Yeah. All right. So we thank you for being in the building. We thank you for your, for 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 not being selfish with the gift that God gave you because sure. it's not a gift until you give it out. Sure, so we appreciate you for blessing us, blessing our city, and uh, blessing your family because it's, it's it's about to take off. I don't know you know. Buck your seat belt. It's, it's about to get bumped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, well, thank you, Jay. Thank you, Autumn. Thank you, Praise 107.9. Shout out to the one of the best radio shows in the world. Hey. Mighty business. Hey. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. So we're going to keep the show moving right along. I got two other amazing guests in the building with us. Um, and we're going to be talking about a good topic. We're going to talk about leadership. Uh, and when, when he said that this is what he wanted to talk about, amongst other things, I said, is it okay that we just kind of talk about leadership because I think it's needed, especially in the entrepreneurial world and other kind of stuff. Um, so without further ado, I would love to introduce to you Bishop Jamar Suber and Pastor Latricia Suber of the Complete Vision Church. All right, all right. How you doing, man? Good to be here. I'm good. How are y'all? Good, good, good. Glad to, have, glad to be here. Good, 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 good. Um, before we even get started going to anything, um, we love to say, okay, what do, uh, what are you into? What do you do? Yeah. Why are you here? Tell everybody about you, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I have a, a, a heart for entrepreneurship. I uh, started the first business when I was 16. And my man, that was a good 30 some odd years ago now. You know, I uh, moved to Jacksonville roughly 13 years ago, met this beautiful woman here, and uh, she completely set my life on fire. You know, um, I'm sure everybody knows a good woman makes a good man better. Uh huh. And I, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to her. Pastor Latricia, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> wasn't expecting that ball toss so quickly, I have to say. Um, yeah, but, well, in in light of what he's done entrepreneurial-wise, um, I myself have, you know, hopped on the bandwagon. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm, I'm running my own business now, uh, which is Plus Roots. Uh, 
for that portion of our lives. Mm-hmm. Um, What's um, Plush Roots? Plush Roots is a, a hair oil that I started. Uh, it's Ayurvedic, so it's all natural. Um, and what I do is I customize it to the specific needs of the customer. So it's not your blanket. You get this, you get the same thing. So if one person wants something for growth, I specialize it for growth. If somebody's dealing with baldness and wants their hair back, I specialize it for that. If they want thickness, so it's specialized for the customer. Y'all, she grew my hair back. Order. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I was bald for a while. And I would say over the last three months, four months, she grew my hair back. A testimony. So, yeah, I, absolutely. I hear it. Absolutely. She has something with that. Yeah. yeah. You need a uh, a brand ambassador. What it sounds like to really, <laughs> no, for real, so that people yeah. can see and watch yeah. the journey yeah. of, and watch yourselves grow from yeah. that, man. Yeah. So I do appreciate the fact that it is not a blanket type of situation, and I'm not knocking anybody who does. Um, I honestly, I've never heard yeah. until now. Um, of a company who kind of customizes it, asks you questions, and really get what you um, are trying to accomplish and, and implement that. So shout out to you for having the uh, a customized uh, business. Um, so in regards to leadership, I'm going to jump right on in. Yeah. Um, if I can, I want to ask everybody on the microphones right now, yeah. what is leadership to you? Yeah. Define leadership. Yeah. Everybody, please. To me, defining leadership is first leading yourself. You know, okay. because you can't lead lead others without being able to self govern you. Right. You know, there are that that's why many people are broken and just not in church and business and all these other places, but because they're following behind incomplete leaders, leaders huh. who have stepped out and who aren't whole, leaders who haven't taken their time to, to refill the well and continue to pour out, to pour out, to pour out, but pouring out essentially from broken hearts and broken lives. Mm. You know, I think the statement that I had sent to you was leadership begins with being able to govern yourself. That's exactly what you said. You know, and uh, it's an important thing. And I actually just had this very conversation uh, with my cousin yesterday. But before I dive into that, Trish, your take on leadership? Uh, Leadership, I mean, I would completely agree that it starts with, you know, governing oneself. But it also starts with uh, the life, you know, the life that we live, the upbringing that we may have had, because that brokenness is not just, you know, within the walls of the church, what have you, but within the families, you know, how we raise our children, how we teach them. So even there, you know, it starts very basic, you know, just at the bottom levels of, you know, the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, with this conversation I had yesterday, one thing my cousin had asked me, he said, uh, Bishop, are you being good to yourself? Mm. You know, with building a church and we have a large family and multiple businesses. And my and my answer was yes. And you know, but as adults, as human beings, we can't always say we're being good to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Right. Know? And I know exactly what he meant. You know, and and, and um, you know, not being a person that drinks and and, and I put all those things away. You know, so now I'm in this space of being good to myself, gotcha. you know, not indulging in self-destructive things that take my eye off the ball. But, you know, when I take time and refresh and get away, it's literally to pour in instead of right. continuing just to water down and to forget. Right. You know, so so that self-governing is an important thing in leadership. That's good. I That's the foundations of everything you said is really important because you have to show it by example. Yeah. So you have to be a leader to me is to be a strong foundation to support the growth of others. So without me being strong, being able to support, be that that shoulder, be that question, be available, um, I can't help to guide people to the next level as well. And kind of we all grow together. Yeah. But as a leader, someone has to be a point of contact right. when it gets rough, just almost like in right. a school and a teacher. You know, you have to have someone that you can trust, but a foundation that, you know, as a leader, they'll continue to keep building with you. That's what's up. And, and I'm, I'm reading some of the comments that are coming through. Shabanika says, leadership for me would be one that can accept criticism as well as being a leader that leads by example. Um, both of those are definitely true for me, especially the leading by example. Um, well, I, don't, I can't even say especially because the being able to accept criticism, that's a big one and a huge one too. Um, if I was defining leadership at its most basic uh, level, I would just simply say that it's influence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. if I'm I'm not a leader, nobody's following. Mm-hmm. I have to be able to influence you yeah. 
if I say, hey, we're going from point A to point B, come follow me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only a leader if somebody's following. That's right. And if that's I don't, right. Right. Yeah. If I don't have the ability to influence you to actually follow me, mm -hmm. then I'm not a leader. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that's how I look at it on a very, very, very basic level. And mm -hmm. some of the things that you guys talked about are just added on to or attributes mm -hmm. of or characteristics of. Um, and when you hit me with the leadership thing, I said, okay, we got to talk about yeah. it because yeah. everybody clearly has their own version of what leadership really is. Yeah. Um, but a lot of us miss the mark because nobody say, hey, bro, you're not doing it right. right. Uh, number one, times you can't even tell somebody that because everybody's so offensive yeah, or offended, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and if you know anything about me, I don't even have to know you. Yeah. I'm going to say, hey, can we, if you allow me, can I, can I take it or leave it? I know my purpose. I know my job. And I know my heart. I know I'm not doing it. And, you know, I've met people who say, hey, baby, we're in the bank. You don't wear that no yeah. I know you don't know me, yeah. but you can't be talking about I want to get booked for something and you look them up. You just yeah. can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, even if I can, uh, headshots. Like, I'm trying to put together flyers and let the people know who's going to be on the show. I can't put no bad in the room. <laughs> So, believe it or not, we're, we're leaders at all ages. Even right. children are leaders. Yes. Um, captains of uh, squads, yes. teams. So, like, if we look in outside the bigger picture of life, we're leaders in everything that we do, yes. whether we're parents in a household, an older sibling. Mm -hmm. Those are considered leaders in so many different ways. So, um, like you were saying, the aspect of growing in leadership, if we take in everything that we've done as leaders, it will also help us right. to continue to build when we're leaders, you know, at a very, very a uh, productive business area will be successful to be successful yeah, leaders. Absolutely. I, uh, if you follow the show at all, you know I, I try not to just talk about some stuff. I try to research some stuff to give you some real stuff. Um, and uh, I found this, this quote. It says, a leader is responsible for ensuring that employees are motivated by and committed to the success of an organization. This includes raising and maintaining morale by ensuring that each employee understands the vital role that they play in the business mm -hmm. and, and that they are valued for their contributions. Um, and I, I like this definition because it hit on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing all those things, mm -hmm. you might be a leader, but my question would be to you, how effective are you as a leader? That's right. Or why are they following you? Yeah. Are they following you just because you're popular yeah. and you're not having the fruit of an actual leader? Because that happens in our especially with social media and all this kind of stuff. And I see it all the time. They follow popularity as opposed to, you know, the leadership. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. When you're leading them, you have to understand where you're leading them. Exactly. Because people who follow, whether employees or children or, or our college, you know, people we mentor or in our businesses, they want to be led somewhere. And yes. a lot of times, selfishly, leaders, we only lead them in our direction. But to truly disciple people, right. if you want to get down to the basis of it, you have to lead people and understand their vision first. Mm -hmm. Because if you can't pour back into them and show them how to make it to their vision, what are you actually doing? Right. Yeah. You know, with the employees that we have, I have, I've, you have to have an understanding that people are with you for a season. Okay, so why are you here? Right. If you're here to understand the business I'm in so you can duplicate it, well, let's go get it because I'm in my own lane. Right. So I can show you, I'll show you the ropes so you can step out and do your thing because I know what God has for me. And what he has for me is mine. Period. So leading them according to their vision, not necessarily ours. Exactly. Yeah. What you said was really good, too, for a season. Often as leaders, sometimes, too, when people leave from who are following you, they take offense to it. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that you're a bad leader. Yeah. You know, it was just their season with you. Mm -hmm. They're on to another leadership. You know what I'm saying? But they're still growing. Yeah. And then you as a leader, you continue like it, but often sometimes people feel it as failure. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's not. Mm -hmm. It was you know, but, <laughs> yeah. but not only that, it's the fact that you you lead to make leaders. That's right. right. That's you exactly. know? So that's what you that's what yeah. you want to happen. You want them to get to a point where they okay, don't they, they don't need you anymore. Yeah. They can go out and do yeah. it on their own. Yeah. When I when that's I first goal. started uh Tobert Management Agency, I was so excited. And uh I used to like seriously like go through this whole like uh, grieving yeah. space in my life when uh yeah. I lost a client. And you even hear it in my book. I said, I lost a client. Right. I didn't lose a client. What I did was gave somebody their wing. But I didn't yeah. realize that back in the day. Um, and then I started to think about the architect. 
And architect just builds the building and keep on going. But they do the building is up to them. Yeah. And I yeah. had to like really teach myself and, and, and pray with myself and mm-hmm. you know, have moments by myself like, bro, look, you just did did you really want them to need you That's for right. the next ten years? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even want that. Yeah. I mean, do you know what I'm saying? I don't want you for a whole ten years. Yeah. And when I really grasped that I brought, as my clients came in, the first day that they came in, I, that was one of the first things I told them, you will not leave, need me for the duration of this. And if you do, I haven't done my job. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I have a client now, when, when I kind of pushed her out the nest, I purposely wasn't there for some things. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to this event. I see you calling. I'm not going to answer this. You answer. What would you say if you were doing? And now she's looking for herself all across America. Right. She's, I mean, it's, it's amazing to watch. And I'm not sure that she would have gotten there if I hadn't mm-hmm. took my hands off of her. Yeah. And I mean, she called me. She was in tears. Mm-hmm. Jay, I just don't feel like you love me no more. I see you doing this for so-and-so. And you're doing it for me no more. And I said, no, baby, it's because I love you. Yeah. That's why I'm not doing this. So being a leader and duplicating yourself. That's, right. we, that's actually one of the points I was going to bring up. In a minute, so you all in my note. Um, <laughs> and no, that's good. That means we have a full understanding right. of what real leadership is. Um, and then I will talk about leadership and delegation. Again, everybody in this room, I would have imagined at some point, you like, I don't trust nobody but me. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody ain't gonna do it like me. Yeah. They will do it like you if you teach them to do it like you. Right. But it's us that don't want to relinquish the reins for them to make the mistakes. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was in corporate, I was a, a, a manager of uh, one of the popular cell phone companies. And uh, my the district manager, my boss, I was telling her, yeah, I, don't, I do that myself. I, that's something, I just don't trust nobody. And she just thought I'd call me selfish. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hold on, you, hold on, wait. You're selfish. You did not give person A the opportunity to learn. That's what a leader is, and that's what a leader does. If you're not doing it, you're not being a leader. Mm-hmm. Blew my mind. Yeah. And that never left me. And that was, what, six or so, 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, that was like 10 years ago. But uh, delegation as a leader is very, very important. Um, any successful business leader recognizes that delegation is essential. This should lead to building leaders for future enterprises. It is important that leaders are able to spot people who are on the rise to the next career trajectory and let them take the next steps to management. So again, like you said, it's duplicating yourself, duplicating leaders, making leaders so that they can handle their own and and do what it is that they do. Um, We are running out of time already, man. Um, Already. Already. Yes, please do come back. We would love to have you back and really dive into some stuff. And like, shout out to you and, and your wife for even uh, suggesting that we talk about this. Um, so again, before we uh, get you all on your way, tell the people one more time how they can get to you, how they can get to your church, how they can get to your ministry, whatever it is that you want to leave them with. Absolutely. So for everybody viewing right now specifically, um, with you watching, we actually have our first service in our new location, yes. uh, July 11th. That's at 30. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's at 3675 San Pablo Boulevard South. Okay. We are on the campus of the Foundations Academy, a private Christian school. Okay. Um, you can catch us online. That's the cvchurch.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook as, as Bishop, Bishop Jamar Suber. Mm-hmm. Yours? Um, Pastor Latricia Pastor Suber. Latricia. Uh-huh. <laughs> In your business, how can they find your business with the hair? I mean, it's amazing. Uh, you know what? Why don't you shoot us an email? Why don't they email us? We're very customized. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, um, and my direct email, jamarsuber at gmail.com. And that's the email that they would email for the hair yes. product? Yes. Oh. Yep. Yeah, they can. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. All right. So, again, we thank you. Uh, some tells me that this will not be your last visit. I'm hoping mm-hmm. so, at least. Um, and I am going to go ahead and pay a couple more bills. Um I am not going to play any more songs because we are running out of time. I have to get this super fantastic young lady up here, uh, the next guest. So I'm going to go ahead and pay a couple of these bills, and after which you will be meeting our very next guest, Miss Shabonica Howard with Academy of Scholars. All right. All right. Yeah. Time. 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 Time.
Like we even said two words. Right. <laughs> but we'll have I'll have to give some more time. Yes. 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 Time. Yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate you both. Um, shoot sure. the number whenever. Yeah. 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 I'll shoot you a time. I want to say the seventeenth. Okay. Perfect. okay. Yeah. 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 That and next. Then we yeah. For you know, we should connect and do a leadership event. I would love to. Yeah. I would absolutely. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We should connect and do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Some type of ministry business leadership type. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. My only um, suggestion is that I get to bring her. Absolutely. Okay. So he's saying we should come to leadership. Yeah. Some type of leadership. Okay. Yeah. 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 I said, yeah. I'll shoot you. My person email. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. All right. See y'all later. All right. If you guys are tuned in still. <laughs> no, we have a seven year old in the studio. I know it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We thank you all for tuning in as usual. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. If you're in the room, please think that you're in the room. Even if you already let us know that you're in the room, we want to know that you're still in the room. We want to call your name. So please, please, please um, let us know if you're in the room. Uh, 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 what you call it? Everybody check in. We hope that we are helping somebody out there, because if we're not, we're doing it for nothing. Kim Is that Kim? Yeah. Hey, Kim, I see you, girl. Thanks for hanging on in there with us, and thank you for sending the uh, bishop and the uh, pastor to us as well. We appreciate you for doing that. Kim was on the show with us last week, y'all, if y'all didn't know that, her and uh, her business partner, SNK Business Consultant. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. I'm bad on time. I saw it and I was like, uh, let me, uh, because I was looking, uh, um, crazy. What's wrong? No, no, we just time just just slips through the fingers on this show. I'm not even playing a song. I'm about to go jump right into you. Yeah, uh, I saw it. I'm like, wait, you supposed to be here? I know yeah. we had like a five minute delay, so we're catching up. Like, and song. we had a yo, too. Yeah. That, uh, is what we know the job. 20 minutes to go, he says. So we right on. I remember I said we started five minutes yeah. after. Yeah. I was watching that. That's why you did. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, y'all, if y'all still here, please keep sharing, keep liking, and all that great stuff. Nobody's checked in yet. Why aren't you guys checking in? I see you, Kim. Kim says, Skyler. <laughs> yeah, Skyla, because she's known as I said, her business partner. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Skyla. Zakari's still here too. Shout out to her. Shout out to Zakari. Yes, we got to get you on here too. <laughs> she said, Shabonica M. Howell. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, Jay, we're wrapping up. All right. All right, all right. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. If you're just tuning in, you are tuned into another episode of the Mind Your Business with the Architect Show, where we just aim to plug small businesses into Jacksonville, then Jacksonville right back into its small businesses. Um, you can catch us here every Tuesday from 1 until 2 for the live show on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and our newly renovated website, jasonthearchitect.com. Um, and then you can always catch the replay every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Um, we have some technical difficulties with the camera. If you're on there watching uh, through the camera, but it's all good. I'm going to keep this thing going. We have another phenomenal, super phenomenal guest in the building with us on today. We had the opportunity of meeting her, me and Autumn, uh, what, a week, two weeks or so ago at an event? See, I met her at another event. Oh, I'm late. <laughs> I'm late to the party, y'all. My bad. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 
So we got Miss Shabonica Howell in the building, uh, owner of Academy of Scholars. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. She is here because she won a contest, y'all. If you know anything about me, I love giving things away. I love helping entrepreneurs. Um, so I just came up with a game right there in the middle of an event, and she won. So here she is. Miss Shabonica, can you please tell everybody what you got going on while you're here? Yes, sir. Well, I did win that game. Uh -huh. um, that was actually a game that I do at the beginning of every school year with my students. <laughs> they have to introduce themselves, but they actually introduce themselves to another student, uh -huh. and that student have to introduce them. Gotcha. So when you said that was the game, I was ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and I said, anybody want to go first? Ooh, me. I said, OK, she ready. And boy, was she ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, today I'm here to promote my school, Academy of Scholars, Inc., as well as my 10 published books. Uh -huh. I'm very excited about that, and I'm just excited about being here. And when I introduce myself, I love giving my testimony and my motivational right uh, pitch, and that is, I am Shabonica M. Howell, uh -huh. founder and CEO of Academy of Scholars, Inc. Uh -huh. I am determined to be more than what they say I will uh -huh. be, motivated enough to push for what I want to be, uh -huh. and destined to be what I was born to be. And I'm happy to be here with you, Jay, and you, Autumn. Man. Happy to have you here, too. Yeah. Like energy, like it's, it's, it's her it's, energy for me. It is. It's yeah. infectious. Yeah. You be wondering, why am I smiling so hard? <laughs> I didn't even you. know I was... Like cheeks hurt you right now because you be smiling so hard. At the book signing, she set the tone. She did. I was I was really excited that you went first because you set the tone. So it was like, oh man, like I got I have to pick myself yeah. up, and I, I think you helped a lot in that room for people's growth in general. Yes, you absolutely did. Um, so before we get into what we're going to talk about the second half, I do want to talk a little bit about the Academy of Scholars. Um, I know that uh, you, you started from a contest that you won and all that kind of good stuff. Very quickly, can you tell us about kind of the start of it? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I did win a business plan competition. I'm an Army vet, mm -hmm. so they sent me to Long Beach, California to participate in that contest. I won second place. Hey. And with the seed money, 15 grand, 15 I opened grand. my school with 15 grand. Wow. Um, it has been hard. Uh, one of the hardest things is actually um, getting a building that I can afford. Mm -hmm. um, I do rent each month or wherever we um, mm -hmm. have the school for the year. But if I ever win the lotto <laughs> or 200,000 just fall in my lap, uh -huh. I will purchase the building. It's all about purchasing the building. Don't right. get me wrong. I'm fine renting right. at this time, but right. when God gives me right. the building, it'll be better for us. Uh -huh. But I will say my prototypical students are students that have experienced disparity in education. Gotcha. I'm one, we were, we were born and raised uh, here in Jacksonville. We were in uh, Caravan Trail uh -huh. over there on, the, uh, on Atlantic, one way in, one way yeah. out. You know, we were raised in Sherwood, Forest Bell as well, and just seeing some of the things that we that I saw as a child coming up, those were the kids that I focus on. Right. Kids that that know that, hey, you may have it today and lose it tomorrow or may never have it. Right. So those are my prototypical students. Don't get me wrong. I, everyone is welcome I to you. Academy of Star to Academy of Scholars, but we're there for a reason. It's not just about a book. Right. Every now and then we have put it on the table Friday. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you? What's going you know what? Put all the books up. Right. We're not testing today. I need to know how you're feeling, right. how the family's feeling, what we can do for you. Right. That's so good. it's that's good. That's, that's good. good. So if you do win the lottery, I'm just saying, don't forget a bunch of food. You know, I'm home. You know I'm home. I'm home. my little my little piece in right now. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, so we're gonna get started with the with the next segment of the show. I'm so super excited. I got this lovely young lady sitting beside me, who is our guest co-host for the. Uh, this week as well, in a couple more weeks in the future, um, she has implemented her own segment. Um, if you're watching and you want to be a guest co-host, that package is available as well, and you'll be able to create your own segment. But we're going to get started with her segment. Her segment is called Speak On It. Speak On It. So y'all about to see me do a lot. If you're watching on Facebook, um, you know, you're, you're tuned in, you're going to see what it takes to multitask. I'm talking about several different categories. So, so let's go. I need everybody to check in as well. Let me know you're watching um, because this topic is geared to all business owners. 
Um, so speak on it. We're talking about retail, but we're talking about different tactics to use this month alone. Most of the time in retail, people don't really know or realize that there's going to be ups and downs and there's heights. Right. It's, it's consistently, people think consistently their product is going to be purchased. But actually during the summer months, it is a little slower in retail right. versus all throughout the year. But consider COVID. Uh -huh. So the city just opened back up. Shopping is going to be at an all-time low. Right. Um, so what can you do to pivot to actually help to make sure that you still can support the growth of your business? And think about it like a theme park. Mm -hmm. Theme parks have high periods where you do not want to go because it's that high of traffic. Right. What do they do when it's low? Right. They usually implement new rides. Right. Um, give her different opportunities sales, as far as you know, sales, and, promotions, yeah. uh, your your package is, is fall time, right. right? Isn't it like, oh, you could come in now at this special rate, yeah. have it the whole time. Those are things that they do to implement, um, you know, so they're still consistent because they have to make sure their dollar right. doesn't decrease. Right. So with that being said, you, you want to look at some launching of your new items. But this is preparation. So when we're in business and we're working, you know, we're, we're getting exposure, our sales are going, what do we do at the meantime, just when the sales are coming in, we can't just thrive on those sales. Right. We have to make sure we have something right. and we're preparing for when it's low. You, you got to stay up in front of the eight ball. Absolutely. Even when things are good and you're like, oh, we're doing well over, you know, our goal for this month and we've been doing over the goal for the last three months or so. Let's just say that's the case. You still need to be thinking six months ahead of the game because six months is going to be here before you know it. And the last, you know, two months ain't going to be able to get you what you need financially to the next level right. in the next six months. So what are we doing now to prepare us for tomorrow? So I'm, I'm going to just kind of throw out there some July tactics that can be used because the summer, we're in the midst of the summer. Uh -huh. So July and August are, are your key points. Yes, school shopping is going to start to come about, but that's if you have product available for the school season. Right, right. That, that's going to be your, your hot topic, your item right. that you're going to have sales on. So you have the new season, the launches. Um, you can also do test product, test runs. You know, get it out there. Get get some get some feedback. Do some dialogue. Test runs and like what we got. Like um, you make that. So say I'm coming out with a new lipstick line, new uh -huh. lip gloss. Do some test options. Get some trial. You. Get some feedback. I got um, you. Start showcasing some of your product that you're going to launch right. and bring out there. Like get get that exposure going and know right. what is needed and in what direction is went. We got to pivot. Um, you want to incorporate sales during the holidays. Right. There's tons of right. th different things going on. July 4th just passed, but we got back to school. Right. Back to school right, right now is what needs to already have been focused on, but if you're trying to catch up, exactly. catch up now. Like, because back to school is happening now. You should have been in May doing whatever you have to do to prepare for the back to school season. Yes. You also want to look at starting to do something to get rid of your summer line and starting to launch right. your fall line. If you launch your fall night line now, I'm going to jump on board before everyone launches at right. the same time. Right. So start getting that transition and getting that discussion ready um, and be hyper relevant. Be relevant to today. Yeah. So right now we're in the midst of hurricane season. What can I do right. to make sure I come out with something within rain or, you know, kind of just prepare yourself. Like you got to be relevant. Right. right. You're not relevant. What, right. I mean, and even in retail, like you got to, I'm, I'm thinking of like, you got to keep up with the trends. You got to know what colors are about to be popping. What, 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 uh, what you call it? Uh, prints are about to be popping. Like you have to keep up with what's going on. Even, uh, in, in, in the author world, I'm sure that there's a, some sort of a trend that you can, you know, oh, for the next six, like we're going into self-help books, self-help books about to be the best things, or children's books, like there's different trends right. that you should be following and up to date on so that you can know what to do and how to do it. And then just saying that, if you do and implement this now, next year, you'll be able to take a vacation just like everyone else because you'll be prepared. You already be ahead of the eight ball, as they yeah, say. Exactly. Um, so you definitely want to make sure, and then keep keep it going. It's not just summer we have to worry about. Right. There's different seasons as well, different changes. Ongoing. It's ongoing. Life of a business owner, entrepreneur. Ongoing. Right? <laughs> like your business is a whole living, breathing entity, and just like with your child, you don't wait till they get three and all right, they're three, they're done. No, it keeps going. What she's gonna need when she gets eight? What she gonna need? We, you know, they come out the womb. We already trying to start a college fund. Like that's how it should be. This is your baby. Yes. You should be always thinking of how can I nourish this baby to make it the biggest it could be, the as healthy as it can be. 
and I would love to piggyback mm -hmm. on what you said about school coming up. For, mm -hmm. for instance, school is out for me in June. Right. I came out with the math study guide for students that were right. out of school. Right. It's time to study, still studying. I have you teach a math study guide. I have children books that are at one bridge. I was yes. thinking one about bridge. exactly what you're saying, Autumn. You know, displaying those books out there yep. for students yep. at this moment. So yep. I, I get it. And it's for service-based businesses as well. Mm -hmm. If we rely on our clients um, for service-based to do a consultations, they're traveling for the summer. Yep. There's going to be some low marks. Yep. Yeah. So as a service-based business, I need to offer yep. some packages. Yep. We need to incorporate some different things to get some group activity going on, collaborate. Yep. Yeah. But this is this 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 some hints. Even kind of sort of with services. what I do, so <laughs> I got multiple businesses. Like I can't even keep up sometimes. But I've got so much going on. But even in that regard, uh, if I know that uh, summer months are not months that my cleaning company is doing good business, all is well. What I didn't just go over do, I would put uh, you know push my uh my coaching business like you know what i'm saying and then when that one that season is, isn't really doing well now um a lot of events are happening the, the world is opening back up so i'm being booked like crazy to MC events and host events and all that kind of stuff so when you're even with the multiple businesses for those of you who are out there you really got it good compared to the one who just have a business or a couple of businesses you can really juggle this thing and really yes. make this thing work yes and I love to be able to do that. Like I literally can pay all of my bills with just my income because of that, of because of staying in front of the eight ball. TK over B, multiple streams of income. Hey, <laughs> you got to have it. You got to have it. Um, she also said, where's the comment? She said uh, she was asking if we could do some type of a fundraiser or something uh, for uh, Academy of Scholars. Okay. Um, so keep Love that in it. mind. Uh, mm -hmm. Get with us or something or another. I'm sure we can get that accomplished. We got too many brilliant minds in one place not to be able to do it. Uh, and I'm down for okay. it. And Let's my go. email address is yes. Shavonica M. Howell at gmail.com. Spell it, please. S H E V O N I C A M Howell at gmail.com. It's coming to you in a post near you. I see them fingers typing over there. <laughs> Tip got it going on over there. I appreciate you being in the studio with us, TK Overy. Uh, Nikki, how you doing, baby? She said, hey, y'all. Uh, let's see. Zakari, yes, you're still in the building. Thank you. Uh, 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 what does it say? Outstanding. You better work it, our knucklehead teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Better have your students ready yes. and waiting. Yes. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so anything else uh, about retail or speak this topic of speak on it? So I think it needs to follow up with the branding and the marketing asset because you can't uh, implement it if you so you've got to follow up with this to kind of give them jewels and gems yeah. to help. Yes. Because think outside the box. It's okay to be slow in business because if it's steady growing. That's not as good as well. Right. We have to have time to kind of make sure your data, everything follows, and know how to implement a pivot plan in case right. things right. need to right. change. So, yeah. so, so, what I'm gathering from what you just said, the next, uh, 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 I guess, the next episode, we'll be probably talking about the branding and marketing uh, aspect of it all. Yeah, yeah, we, we, it's got to come up. The, the discussion has to be there. And Jay, you're gonna have to give it to Rob. I got you. You to, I got you. They need to hear it and know it because it's not only about business, the branding part in the market, it's who we are and what we reflect. Right, right. And, and I am a, a certified branding and business coach. So um, I don't know. I might, I, I don't know. I'm about to see how that's gonna look for next week. You already, I, my I, wheels are turning. I don't drop it out there. You know. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get me later. Yeah. Right. No, it's all right. I mean, I didn't know until now. So apparently, we're talking about branding and marketing next week. Uh, but I'm always out to talk about branding. Branding, I love branding. Like that thing, I can talk about it all day long. I get on people's nerves because I, I, I'll be like, okay, if I, if I talk about it again, just stop me. Just, just say, Jay, you're doing it again. Like I can't help myself sometimes. So. If you're tuned in and you're watching right now, I need you to know that next week we're going to be talking about branding and marketing, uh, even how they differ, uh, where they kind of overlap. Um, and I'm just saying this off the top of my head right now. I don't even know what's going to happen when I go and start putting some stuff on some paper. Um, so 
again, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. We always, always, always support. We always support us, and you're so good at it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. I can't say it enough. Everybody who tunes in to this show every single week without fail, even though we are here at a new time, you are still here with us. If So if you're watching, we always want to do what is effective, not necessarily what we think to do. We want to um, implement segments that you want to talk about, implement topics that you want to talk about. If you have a suggestion of any topics or anything, please, please, please get with us. You can uh, hit us up on any of the social media platforms at the Mind Your Business, um, at the Mind Your Business with the, talk, with the Architect Talk Show. Um, or Jason the Architect on all social media platforms. Um, we want to hear from you. Oh, the number is 904-701-8774. Or you can get with us at our website, www.jasonthearchitect.com. And let us know your um, the topic that you, want to, that you would want to talk about or the subject that you would want to hear. Um, so that being said... Yes, Praise 107.9 is, is doing they think. I love it. Thank you, Ms. Zakari. Thank you, Shavonica, for being here in the studio with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. It's totally our pleasure. Tiffany says social media. Yes, I absolutely thought about that today before we left, uh, before we came into the studio. So, again, if you want me at your event to host your event or MC your event, please give me the number. is 904-701-8774. Catch us right back here next week, same place, same time. And I want to remind everybody that please, please, please don't forget to celebrate yourself, even if it's by yourself. That was amazing. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Mind your business. Yeah. Wait, bye. See ya. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> that was